Hello again. All right, yep, thought I'd do another pickups video. It doesn't seem like long since I've picked up games, but meh, why not? I keep collecting them all the time, then I got an illness. All right, we'll start with some uh, pretty tat, as everyone says. We always call it tat. I don't think it's tat. I, I love the 360, but it's only two games. Uh, currently in a gamer score competition with um, a couple of people, like Gernardino, Wishwash, Glory Hunter, and my girlfriend. Um, but we're doing a, a game score competition for only 360 games. Um, so I picked up some stuff that I'd completed before uh, for her to do, um, just to get some easy points. Uh, so the first one I picked her up was Night at the Museum 2. Problem with this is it turns out that she'd already completed this and it cost me 8 quid. So, yeah. Not one I wanted to spend 8 quid on, to be honest with you. Um, the other one, the next one is one that she luckily hadn't done, which was only £2, which was... Uh, Hannah Montana, the uh, the movie. Yeah, I don't think she enjoyed that game really. I thought it was all right for what it is. <laughs> but yeah, I shouldn't admit that, should I? All right, get the other Xbox stuff out of the way, shall we? We had, um, I was looking on the game collection in their January sale. They had stuff, loads of it was like two pounds, between two and five pounds. Um, so yeah, I grabbed them. I can't remember the exact prices. Uh, but I picked this one up because I was surprised this even had an Xbox uh, One release. Because usually these smaller games get the smaller print runs, don't they? Um, and Xbox don't allow anything under, I think it's 10,000 or something? But yeah, that's a uh, 8 Glory. It's a bull riding game. Um, it was like £2.80 or something, I think. Something like that. Um, but yeah, these have since gone up uh, again in value on there. But they're only like, most of them are still under a fiver, so... It's nothing that bad. The next one was a game I didn't even know what it was, but it was super cheap. It's a Jagged Alliance Rage. No, I no idea anything about that. But I thought, you know, for that price, might as well get some points out of it. This was the most expensive one I bought on the sale. I think this was twelve pounds. I think something like that. It's a Monster Jam Steel Titans. Yeah, I've, I just really like the Monster Jam games. Um, they started off as like proper 3D kind of like almost racing and stunts and stuff. But then they became more of a kind of Trials-esque kind of game. But I don't know how this one plays. So looking forward to it. It's by Rainbow, so I'm thinking it might be a, a full-on 3D one. Because they do the uh, MX versus ATV stuff, don't they? But we'll find out. Um, next up was two games that I'm pretty sure these were... These might have been £4 in the sale, I can't remember. Uh, they're games which I've played before. Um, I'm pretty sure this one didn't get a 360 release. I think it's got a Wii release, which is De Blob. Um, yeah, that's a little colourful platformers where you colour in the world. It's, if it's like oppressed and grey and you roll around and colour it in. Uh, this one did get a 360 release, um, which is De Blob 2. The only thing I don't like about these De Blob games, actually, um, in this one, I haven't played the first one. I've where have I played it? I'm pretty sure I played that on the Wii. Um, but this one, you you get a time limit to complete a level, but where it's like almost a collect-thon platformer, if you exit the level and go back into it, the whole level's reset, and you have to start from scratch again. Um, I don't know if they've changed that for this version of it, but something about that I always found weird in the Xbox one, the 360 one when I was playing it. And the final one I bought was literally um, because I know it's easy points, Someone keeps telling me it's an easy, easy completion, uh, which is the Raven Remastered. Yeah, it's like a point and click adventure game, I think. Um, but for I think three pounds or whatever it was, two, three pounds. I, I couldn't really say no. Brand new in it. Uh, okay, I've got some PS4 stuff here now. This one, yeah, I was going into full big game owl territory with this one. Uh, it's Windstorm Ari's Arrival. Yeah, it's, it's the sequel to uh, the original Windstorm, which um, I think it only originally had a physical, which was German, which was called Ostwind, I think. I've got it somewhere over there. Um, but I think it has since had a, a UK release or one with at least a wind, Windstorm written on the front of it. But I'm happy with my German one and this one. This, this is actually a really quite expensive game to try to track down if you want it with the actual English on it. I paid £25 for it, but I've seen it sell for close to triple figures, and I don't know why. Um, 
this is a PS3 game that was actually bought in that um, sale from the game collection. I didn't know anything about it. I didn't know it was going to come in this giant box either. Uh, it's Hero Land, but it, it was £4 or something. So it's really low, um, but it's since gone up to a tenner on there now. I don't really know what it is. It just looked interesting. It kind of looks like a bit of a... I don't know, it looks turn-based, but I don't know if it is. I'll find out when I play it. It just piqued my interest because I like the art style on the front of the box. Um, this was a weird random eBay purchase. Uh, I can't remember which it was. 12 or 15 quid, I think this one was. Um, it's Speed 3 Grand Prix. I'd never actually heard of it. It looks like Burnout with F1 cars going by the back of it, but I've never watched any gameplay or anything of it. I just like weird racing games, so I thought I'd give it a shot. So. And arcade racers are always fun. Uh, yeah, I don't usually double dip on games, especially on the same day, but I also bought the PS4 version of 8 to Glory because it was super cheap. No, no idea why. It probably rounded up the cart to a round number. Um, I also went into, just before lockdown, I went into my local town, went into game. Um, a lot of people shit on game, but I like them for their weirder, small, like, kind of indie-ish titles they always get in. Uh, so I picked up this one. It looks interesting. It's, I think it's like a Pokemon or Digimon kind of clone. Uh, it's Nexamon Extinction. So I can't remember how much this was. It might have been £18 or something. I don't know. But it looked interesting. It was in their, like, sale thing they were doing. Uh, this one was also, <laughs> I, I pick up, uh, PS4 games that I think might have a low print run, um, and I didn't know this even existed. It's based off some kid's toy. It's Big Bobby Car, the big race. I can't remember how much this was. Ten? Something like that. I'm close, it's like ten quid or something. I can't remember. Cannot remember. Um, this next one's, uh puzzle platformery looking game um that's all i know about about it but it was colorful and it drew me in which is uh tin and kuna as you can tell i haven't played any of these yet but that's pretty much because uh doing that 360 gamer score competition so i've only been playing a lot of 360 stuff uh this next one it still has its price on it it was uh up at 30 pounds but now it's only 6.99 so i thought i've got a Gotta buy something of that kind of quality. Um, it's a visual novel based in an arcade. It's Arcade Spirits. I don't really know much about it other than that. I know it's meant to be quite an easy completion for a Platinum. Actually, I don't know if it, it, that's if it has a Platinum. I know it's easy completion on a Xbox One. And I can hear my cat meowing in the background. She's gonna try to get in here in a minute. Uh, this one I won off of eBay. Um, Again, I thought it was just going to be a standard little one and it was going to be open, but I won it, I think, for, I think it was like £10, I think. But it came in this weird box. It is a Lovecraft's Untold Stories. Um, from what I've seen of it, it's a, like, kind of Metroidvania, but roguelike uh, 2D game set in, like, the, uh, like, with the mythos and that and the monsters of um, HP Lovecraft. So, I guess there's Cthulhu in there somewhere. All right. Let's mix it up a bit. Let's go a bit, bit older, shall we? Um, I picked up, some, picked up two games uh, that I've never... I, well, Kazi never played. I've played them all on, like, compilations and things. I'd never played them on real hardware, because I, I just never had them. Um, and when I saw both of these pop up for... It was £40 for the pair. I thought that was a good deal, going with CEX. I think sells one of them for 40 quid. I can't remember. Um, yeah, I thought I'd grab them. So I got Mega Man on the NES. And Mega Man 2. But yeah. To be honest, they're in, they're in pretty good good shape. Um, I don't know, I always worry about buying stuff when I think it's a bit of a good deal. Even even still, 40 quid's still a bit expensive. But I always think, is it going to be fake? But I've opened up, they're fine. But you don't really get that many fake UK ones, do you? It's mainly always American stuff. Um, Alright, what else we got? Let's go, with some, uh, let's go with some Nintendo cardboard, shall we? Um, I won this in an auction on eBay, uh, I think it was £40 I won it for, which I thought that's a good deal. It's not the box wasn't in the best shape, even though it was listed as very good. 
Um, it's got a few sticker marks and that, so I thought I was happy to buy Star Wars uh, Episode 1 Battle for Naboo. But it turned up, and I wasn't too happy. Somebody has coated the entire box in like sellotape to, to strengthen it. Um, and one, you can't even open one end because it's completely taped. You probably can't see that at all in the protector. But um, I contacted the guy saying like, why, why has this been done? This wasn't mentioned in the, in the auction. And he genuinely couldn't work out what I was saying was wrong with it. Uh, basically, he's going, you saw the sticker marks on it. It's like, it's not the sticker marks I'm getting funny with. It's the fact the entire thing's like, I pretty much laminated with sellotape. But yeah, he was having none of it. Then he offered to, you know, me to send it back, but then he, he kept replying with like, he'd send me two messages. One would be in really like perfect English, then instantly he'd send me one in like really broken English. So I thought this is a bit dodgy and I'll just keep it and get a box upgrade at some point because it is complete. The, the manual and the cart are in, in great shape, but I just thought that was a bit weird. I'm running out of space to put these. What I'll do is I'll move this stuff first and make a space that way. Um, We'll hold off on the cardboard for a second and we'll get back to it in a minute. Uh, I did a trade with um, another YouTuber, the man of the hour. I did a trade with Beat Me Chicken. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not going to say what I sent him because that'll be probably one of his pickups. But he sent me um, All Star Karate on the Wii. I literally only wanted this because it looked bizarre. It, this is stuff he showed off on um, Swap Shop when he was on there. But uh, yeah. Downhill Domination, which is um, like a downhill mountain biking racing game. Um, it's always looked really good. I've never actually played it, but uh, every time I found it, it's always missing a manual or really scratched. So I was just happy to finally get it. It's not an expensive game. It's a couple of quid, I think, but it's just one I, I really wanted. Um, he sent me this because he said it doesn't work, which was a crash tag team racing. Um, I've since put this through my buffing machine and it's fine. I've had no problems with it now. And the one I really wanted was, uh, I don't really know much about it other than the fact it's a 505 game. So that's kind of why I wanted it, which is a Panzer Front a sort of tank game. So, yeah, I don't really know much about it. I haven't actually tried it yet, but yeah, it's, it's complete. So. All right, what else we else got here? Let's have a look. Let's go back to some Nintendo cardboard again, shall we? Um, it, my birthday's coming up uh, this month and my mum... Usually she'd get me something, wrap it up and whatever. But she uh, she messaged me saying just to get something and because she can't come round or any of that. Uh, so I just ordered myself something. And with the money, I got a copy of Penny Racers on the N64. Um, sadly, I didn't pay twenty four ninety nine for it. I paid £60 or something for it. 65 I don't know, something like that. But yeah, it's um, part of the, is it Choro Q or Coro Q? which is also part of Gadget Racers. It's all that series. So yeah, th this didn't cost as much as ours Gadget Racers. <laughs> right, what else we got here? Oh, I did a, um, well, I had a random message at one point from Eddie, uh, who was skulking around in his uh, car booty man's lockup by the looks of it, um, asking him if I wanted any of the stuff that he was showing, and I grabbed some stuff off him, but I won't. Well, not off him, off his car booty man. Uh, I won't say how much I paid for this stuff. Um, but yeah, it's pretty good. I've got uh, some bits from a Lynx collection. I've got a copy of the Fidelity Ultimate Chess Challenge, which is actually sealed. Um, so I had no intention of ever playing a chess game anyway, but I just wanted it for the set. And one that I, I haven't tried this one either, but uh, it's Crystal Mines 2. Just haven't got around to it. Okay, that wasn't the main things that I wanted. There was something else I wanted to buy, uh, but he he chucked in for free this Lynx battery pack. <laughs> um, I'm never going to use this, but it's cool to have. Um, this is the main item I wanted uh, out of it. It is um, Card Fighters Clash on the Neo Geo Pocket Color. So yeah, it's quite a difficult one. Well, When's it difficult to come by? It's quite a pricey title now, so yeah, I was happy happy to grab this if I can get it. It is all complete and all in there. I'm trying to make sure it doesn't all fall out. So yeah, I got a, I got a cracking deal on that one. 
and Eddie chucked in a freebie as well. Uh, he picked up a Master System lot uh, recently, and it had asterisks in it, but it's missing the uh, plastic, so the art falls off. But I can get get myself a new case for that at some point. Okay, what have I got now? I've been on a bit of a, a kick of upgrading games that I had. Well, all the stuff that I had that was like loose, I thought I might as well just start buying all the boxes for them. And only only when I look like bump into them, I'm not going to look crazily for them, but search what boxes are available. And if, if I think they're a good price, I'll pick them up. So first, for £4 delivered, I got the box and manual for Pac-Man World. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. I've had that for ages on a disc. I bought the disc only in a charity shop about two years ago. So, yeah, it was good to good to complete that. Um, another game. I knew ages ago Al was uh, showing off his N64 collection. I had a, 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 like a spare cart that... Um, I knew he didn't have, and I, where I don't collect uh, car only, I was just going to buy a new copy of it because I didn't think I'd ever find a box for it. But luckily I didn't give it to him. I got the box for it now, which is uh, Holy Magic Century. So yeah, the box is in great shape on this. It was the box and the manual. Um, I think it was £15, the box. So yeah, it was one of those ones I didn't think I'd ever just run into just a box of because uh, I don't know. Quest, it's Quest 64, isn't it, really? But, um, well, that's the American name for it. I, I don't think it's uh, held in high regards. So, um, what else do I I also picked up um, two... Uh, no, two? I, think I thought I had a third one of these. Oh, no. For some reason, I bought some boxes for my uh, Game Gear games. So, I bought a box for um, Wonder Boy. I've also started putting them in these protectors because the little hang tabs on the top of them annoy me because I can't stack things on top of them when they're in the collection. So I thought if I put them in the protectors at least I can store more in here. And finally I got a box for Sonic 2. Uh, I think these are about five or six quid each. This one might have been seven. I don't know. I can't remember. But it's, it's the box and the manuals for them. Um, but yeah, that's that's. I think that's everything I've picked up. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, that looks like everything. Um, I don't know. Depends on whether I upload, when I upload this. If I get any more game and stuff for uh, my birthday, I might add it to the end of this, or just do it as a separate video. Um, but yeah, it, it'll be missing penny ratios, of course, because that's already been shown off. But I get so much stuff, like even even small piles like this, because I haven't got much room in here. I've got to I've got to show it off and get it get it put into the collection. Otherwise, I'm tripping over it forever. So yeah, that's that's everything I've picked up recently. Anyway, have fun. Bye. I said I'd uh, add on to the end of this what I got for my birthday if I've got any game and stuff. So yeah, just going to quickly add these on because it I can't bother to make a separate video of it basically. Um, right, the first thing that the girlfriend got me is this. Yeah, it's a uh, 360. Nothing, nothing interesting apart from the fact it's Japanese. So, yeah, I, I used to have a Japanese 360 and it died, so I can actually get back onto playing some of my Japanese games, region locked ones now. So that's pretty cool. Uh, she got a couple of games to go with it. She got me this collector's edition of Phantom Breaker, which is pretty cool. Uh, I've I did have a Phantom Breaker on the uh, PS4. I'm pretty sure they're fighting games. But yeah, it comes with a like little comic-y thing. Soundtrack. And the game itself, which I'm not going to dig out. But if I can hold it up just about without dropping it. Yeah. That's just quite cool. Let's see, very professionally... Uh, Professionally displayed there. Yeah, can't get it in. She also got me a copy of Every Party. I think she said she got all these off the same seller, so she got a good deal on like the bundle of it. Um, and the 360 copy of No More Heroes. It's kind of weird. There was a, there's a 
there's a PS3 version of it, like, because, yeah, of course it's a Wii game, but they get the, uh, it's like a HD version, wasn't it, for the PS3. But yeah, the 360 one only came out in Japan. So, going to give that a shot and see how it plays. I always thought I'd pick up the PS3 one, but it's cool to have that one. Um, and <laughs> I think she's just determined to get me all of these. Uh, it's those weird little, like, slot machine games on the uh, Neo Geo. Pocket Colour. Yeah, I'm, I think they all play exactly the same. They just seem to come in different coloured boxes. But they're like the cheapest games you can get for the Neo Geo. They're, they're like five, ten quid each. So, oh, that sounds like my dog coming up the stairs to see me. You coming in, girl? Hello. Hello, girl. Right, yeah, hello. Up we come. All right, you're going to be on my video. Yeah. Hello. Yes, I love you too. Are you going to be able to stay still though? Going to be able to stay still? Um, the last two things... Oh, I need to tie up the mess in here. The last two things, basically I had some money from my dad, so I ordered some N64 games off of um, CEX. Uh, yeah, it came to 50 quid for these two. Um, we got San Francisco Rush. Uh, to be honest, the, the box on this isn't in good shape. This one's pretty bad, but... It, it's missing the manual as well, but I wasn't gonna. I'm not gonna send it back. Um, I'll just work, work on getting an upgrade for it over time. And the other one I bought simply because I. Well, looks like my camera decided to die on me. So, yeah, yeah. A couple hours later, slightly darker. Um, can't remember where I got to. Pretty sure I do. Let's go with this. Yeah. I'll, what was I saying? Something along the lines of the... It was a game that I used to... When I used to borrow a PlayStation as a kid, I used to play the demo a lot. Um, and I never knew there was an N64 version of it. Because I would have got it as a kid. Uh, but now I've got it, I can try it out. I imagine it's... I don't know. I don't know how well it's going to play on the N64. It might work quite well with the analog stick. But it's a... A bug's life. Yeah. This actually turned up in alright condition from CEX. It's complete. The manual was like, really good condition. Um, there's a little bit of box crushing to it, but other than that, yeah. So I think it was about about 25 quidish, something like that, because the two games together came to 50 pounds. Um, but yeah, see what it's like on the uh, N64. And to end it, we'll end on a very big hair. So it is a whole gr NBA 2K6. <laughs> Uh, randomly I had to buy this because we're in the gamer school competition. Um, the girlfriend wanted some stuff to play that she hadn't played before that was easy G. Uh, and I gave it, I said, oh, you just, just play NBA 2K6. That's nice and easy. Went to put the game in and it didn't work. So I had to buy another one. But silver linings and all. This one came with a manual. My one before didn't have a manual. So, but then again, she still hasn't played it because uh, she put it in her console. And she needs to set it up on an old, uh, like through a, AV connection to be able to change from PAL 50 to 60 to be able to play it and she can't so she's not bothering with that for a sports title so never mind so yeah now that I've finally got through this stuff I can put it all away that's just the, the greatest part of doing the videos I get to put this stuff away if I was to put it into the collection for it I'd never remember what I picked up over time so yeah anyway I'm gonna bugger off again hopefully I'm not gonna add any more parts to this since this video is gonna be stitched together by random parts anyway by the looks of it so anyway have fun people